In this video I'll show you a few solutions in case of your Epson EcoTank ET2760 printer is not connecting to your Wi-Fi network. So let's start with the easiest of these solutions. So what you need to do is to turn off your printer and then on the back where the power cord meets the printer disconnect both of them like this. Stay during five minutes and after the time elapsed, plug it back. Then you can go ahead and turn on your printer and hopefully this time it will connect to your internet connection. If this didn't work, another thing you can try is to disconnect, do the same thing I just did with the printer, but this time with your internet router. Sometimes, especially after a power outage, things won't connect properly. Disconnect it from your power outlet, wait five minutes and then plug back your Wi-Fi router. Then you can try connecting both of them again. If these solutions didn't work for you, you can also try bringing your printer physically closer to your router, at least five meters closer. Sometimes even if on the screen you see that uh, there's a Wi-Fi connection, it doesn't mean that it's a strong one. And if it's not a strong one, sometimes the printer will not receive any kind of commands via Wi-Fi. So bring your printer closer to your Wi-Fi router. Now you probably already did this uh, when you first got the printer, but I recommend you go back on the Epson website and download the driver for your printer. So this is the Epson website and just go down over here, choose your operating system and choose your operating system. Then go down and you should see over there, download and start again. Download the driver and the other softwares and register your printer. Sometimes this can cause a problem and your printer won't be able to connect if you do not have the last software installed on your computer. Another solution is to make sure that on your Wi-Fi router you do not have a MAC address filtering turned on. What does it mean is that some Wi-Fi router, maybe people did it on purpose or sometimes it's by default, it filters every devices that tr are trying to connect to your Wi-Fi and blocks certain of them. So you need to log on your router. Unfortunately, I cannot show you because there's probably thousands of different routers and thousands of different ways to do this. You need to log in and go into the settings of your Wi-Fi router and go over where it says something like MAC address filtering. Another solution is that if in your Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi network name, you have some special characters like a plus, minus, minus, a question mark, an exclamation point or, you know, stuff like that, or even an emoji, many apps and printers won't be able to connect to that network. I know this could be a hassle, but you need to delete those special characters or emojis from your Wi-Fi network name and then try connecting again. Many times this is what is causing a problem and just by deleting those in the Wi-Fi name, you will be able to connect your printer. At the same time, since you're doing this, make sure that you connect your printer to your Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz channel. Many routers, almost all of them, have a 5 gigahertz channel and a 2.4 gigahertz channel. And sometimes they have different names. Sometimes they have the same name. If you have different names, make sure that you do not connect to the 5 gigahertz and that you connect to the 2.4. This again can make a huge difference and can solve your problem. Many times people are connect to, connecting to the wrong one. Another thing you can do is to go on the main menu screen here, press the home button to be there, go where it says settings, press OK. Then in this menu, press the right side arrow until you see, let me show you, restore default settings, then press OK. And the first thing should be network settings, press OK. 
and here it will ask you res restore network settings to default press ok again and all the wi-fi settings of your printer will be deleted and you'll have to reconnect it to your wi-fi and hopefully this time it will work because you have resetted the network this will not delete any other settings if you want to delete other settings let me go back you need to go into this menu and click a few more times until you see clear all data and setting this is a factory reset and if the previous uh, method didn't work you can try doing this hopefully finally your problem will be solved if you have other solutions that may help other people please type them in the comments down below if one of these worked please let me know as well it's always nice to know that uh, this fixed and this fixed your problem Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.